everyone and welcome back. Today I will be reviewing the new coloring book by, I hope I'm saying his name right, Shintaka Herat. Um, Shintaka himself contacted me to ask me if I was interested in reviewing his new book and seeing the a glance of um, the pictures I immediately knew this was something for me. As a teenager, I visited with my school a museum uh, with, that was presenting an, um, an exhibition uh, of the works by Jacob Jordans. Um, and I, I can look for hours at those type of paintings. I'm from uh, the same country, country as Paul Rubens did. I know Paul Rubens is uh, also well known for some shimmery paints made in China, but he was a Belgian guy uh, with, um, yeah, look him up, look Jacob Jordaens up, and their paintings are quite bombastic and, and heavy, and, and I, I adore that. And this book is totally my cup of tea. So thank you very much, Intaka, for contacting, contacting me and sending me this book. I love it. It's, wow, from beginning to back, fantastic. So we're going, we are going to start the flip through here. So here you have some details about the publisher and the, the year of uh, publication. A very beautiful intro page or nameplate page. Love it. I don't like nameplate pages for the most part in books, but this one I adore. Then a little intro page um, and some contact details. The contents, so some a little um, um, index pictures, as I can call them, uh, to give you already a bit of a look what to expect in the book. I've only flipped through this book once, so I'm seeing some of them. I don't think I have seen this one, but it was late uh, yesterday evening when flipping through it and uh, yeah, the paper isn't super thick. But um, it's single-sided, so you can use a marker or whatever you would like. You will have to be careful with some watercolor media, but uh, knowing me, I will find a way to use my water media in this book. Um, depending on the product I will be using, it will work or not. But um, that's something to try out. So this is the first picture and there's one thing that I think it's a bit um, a bit of a shame and it's also the same with this one. I had preferred, so you, here you have your numbers that are corresponding with the titles here and I think it's a bit of a shame that... Um, yeah, that, that the names of the, the women or the, the, the um, how do you call it? Um, yeah, the, 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 the artwork, that there's no name beside it mentioned. And I don't know why. Sleeping Venus, oh, and she's Echo, I think. Yeah, three, three is Echo. So I, it would have been nice that after this little imprint, there was a name of the um, of the picture. So number four, no, number five. This is four, five. She is called Marchiones. But that's the only thing that I think it's a bit, not negative, but a bit, yeah, it, it would have been nicer, but th there's no harm done, of course. But, 
I do like the little index on the beginning of the page and I do like that the names are printed here already so that you can see beforehand a bit what um, yeah what you would like to to choose for your next project but a name here would have been super nice but the artwork wow I can't decide what I want to color first really this is so so beautiful And it has, it's quite a, a sketchy and a rough look, a lot of detail printed on the face. So very rough. That's, it's, it really suits the style of, um, of, of drawings. Also amazing. This is so my cup of tea, really, really. I'm really looking forward to start the picture in this one. Also. And they also have some beautiful jewelry, so we can add our glitter and shimmer if we want. A lot of hair to color in. He's, wow, he's awesome too. Beautiful. And this, this sword with all the, the golden details you can give this, or bronze details. My fantasy is going wild already. A beautiful bird. That could be me. I love birds. I love every animal except wasps. I even love spiders if they don't run too fast because that is just creepy. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, here they are. I've missed those two yesterday when flipping through. Oh, and here's the snake. Adam and Eve. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and she with her bunny. There are a lot of mountains uh, drawn in these pictures, but that's that's okay. We can practice our mountains. Um, um, that, that's something in nature that I found very difficult to color in. It's a mountain or, or a, a hill. So this book gives you really some practice on your hills and, and mountains. And I love the fact that there are there's some there are some things include for everyone. So flowers, greenery, animals, persons, and, and all in such a beautiful style. And this is the end of the book. On the page afterwards, there's a code mentioned for um PDF pages, but I'm not going to show that page. And here at the back, we have again the little index is so beautiful, well thought of, lovely colors. The yeah Indian red kind of color and a greenish ochre on the side. There's no print of the title, but. That's totally not a problem, at least not for me. Um, it, it, it suits these paintings so well, those colors, together with that black or dark blue, I'm not sure, I think, or gray maybe. Uh, ceiling, and this is floor, well thought of back cover also. It's a very appealing book. It's just, wow, I... I when I flip through it, I, I again, it's my second time. I really want to restart already with flipping again and, and seeing colors appear f in in my mind already to, uh, yeah, I can't wait to start this one. 
so very very lovely i can only recommend it if you like to color people and animals and nature um give this book a thought keep in mind that the paper isn't the thickest one but um it's definitely doable and if you are having problems with some colored pencils you can totally give a base layer with a marker protect your back page if you do so but i'm sure we can do a lot of amazing things with this book i'm really looking forward to it so shintaka thank you very much again for this book um, it was a pleasure to review it um, it's my honest opinion so the only thing that i could think of that was a bit of a pity was that here's no name of this uh, picture but that's about it all the rest is just yeah it's it's just perfect so um, keep up the good work and i hope to see a lot of nice colored in images everywhere on uh, the facebook groups and instagram and uh, of course on finished pages videos it will be awesome to uh, see pictures appear by this one uh, also. So I hope you've enjoyed my first thoughts uh, and, and review and flip through of this book. Thank you for watching. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions if you have so. And we will see each other soon for our next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.